morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Teak Yarns here in Elko, California, and the TeakYarns.com coming to you live on Wednesday. We are almost at, what, halfway, almost to the New Year's Eve. Do you have any plans besides sleeping? Keeping the dog in the house with the doggy door shut and oh. holding the dog because, you know, sometimes she loves the dog she's scared. Oh, yeah, fireworks. Mm -hmm. I number on her. Mm. Stitch too. I forget that people do fireworks. I'll have mm -hmm. to do. Um, I've been using gummies, different like CBD gummies. Yeah, they've worked. So nice. we'll try something else. I do have a little bit of something else I can get. Oh, my goodness, those poor puppies. It's hard on them to uh, be part of that. Which I love that people like to celebrate, but it has gotten uh, maybe a little crazy. Yes. So on my end. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Pam. Hi, Sharon. All right, we're going to jump right in because we have a lot to talk about today. You guys know we're in the middle of our semi-annual clearance sale. So many good deals of yarn that we are releasing from our stash into yours. So lots of goodies uh, coming your way. They are while supplies last. Uh, we will not be reordering these yarns, but Yesterday we showcased Noro, um, and we do have a few more Noros that uh, made it into the clearance sale. If you want to find out more details, go to our website, natiquenerns.com, and put in the search box clearance, and just about everything will come up that way. So, good morning, Trish. Hey, Sandy and Kathy and Eileen. All right, we are talking about the grand prize. This is a beauty. Valued at over $180. We have two pairs of socks. One in the smaller size is a cashmere. A larger size is a bamboo rayon blend. We have my favorite candle. This is the Volu Spa Pandori Lychee. Perfect for travel. Or perfect for tucking into your um, knit or your stash. I have them um, literally candles are tucked into every cubby. I use an Ikea system at home. Um, and so my craft room smells amazing. Uh, you, What I do is I actually put them in there and then when the smell goes away, then I burn them and then the fragrance comes again. So you can get this to last quite a while. Uh, when you go to burn this one, this small travel candle burns for 25 hours. But very, very nice. And then you can use the case. You can use, um, melt it, uh, burn it down to the bottom. Use hot water to pop out that little bit and clean it. It holds your tins really nicely. I think you can even get, I think you can get the sticker off. But if not, it's still good. All right, we have our 144 pack of locking stitch markers, 12 of 12 different colors. Very, very beautiful. We have one large skein of, Malabrigo in Rasta in the gorgeous lettuce color, which is beautiful crocodile. And then we do have this highly coveted skein of Savvy by Dream and Color in Mermaid Shoes. I thought we had we have two, two left. left. Yeah. So there are two of the Savvy. It, what? I think there's three fingering and one. Left. Yeah, we've had people come and do sweaters, so sweaters for everybody. We have two patterns that are going to come with this. One is Fleur de Pommier, and the other is River Rock, which is a really nice um, full-sized cowl. It's about 34 inches, and you could get definitely get more than 7 inches wide because there is more yarn on the Savvy, 130 yards. Um, and then this is the picture of the Fleur de Pommier. The only thing that I would do different, and we need to adjust the pattern, is I would do a 13 on the ribbing and then switch to a 15 because it does stretch out. Um, it's still good, but I have a nice size head, so you can see it fits pretty well on, ignore this one. But it fits really nicely. Um, and there you go. So one lucky person is going to get this prize. Susan, how do they enter to win? They, every time you make a purchase, yeah. you get one Ooh. entry. So if it's online, in the store, over the phone, every purchase gets you one entry. It is cumulative. So the more 
purchases you make, the more entries you get. I just swallowed like I sucked up and there was something chunky in there. I'm hoping Thank it was you ice for and sharing. Not spoiled <laughs> protein shake. Mmm. Nice. Deb is headed oh, wow. to Canada tomorrow. That's awesome. Like you're flying or driving, are you going with the kids or just with your husband? Inquiring minds want to know. So how you get entered every time you make a purchase, you get an entry. It's cumulative. On January 2nd, we will be doing that project live. Another uh, giveaway that we are showcasing, and there is four more days to enter. Any Noro purchase from last Tuesday, which would have been, let me see, the 26th, the 19th of December through the 31st is going to get an entered into drawing for some amazing uh, prizes from KFI. We've got two Noro kits and we also have um, a full set of the blush liking needles valued at over $135. So uh, whether you are uh, bought it before, there is still time. We have still have some gorgeous Noro remaining in our clearance section. And then, of course, we have, as someone said, the largest Noro they've seen in one place. Uh, we have a really nice selection of Noro going on right now. Speaking of Noro, <laughs> our daily prize, we are giving away one of my favorite newer patterns. This is Gato. Uh, we designed this for, um, I think it was for yes. stitches. We wanted to have an option where people could buy a kit and they got, with one skinny yarn, they essentially got two patterns to go with it. That was valued at $10. Uh, this is a perfect project. Uh, the medium is the perfect size for one skein of Silk Garden or any other worsted weight. There's about 110 yards. So if you're using some of the bigger skeins, uh, you'll get many more out of it. So you could use Ito. Um, Subame is one of my favorites because it's a high silk count. So you can do, um, oh my gosh, I wanted to say siblings, fraternal twins of these because they're never going to look the same, even using the one skein because you're not using all of it. Very simple to do. I think for the medium, again, cast on um, 100 stitches. You could do 90 on a size eight and follow the directions. This is just a border pattern, 10 rounds of the repeat until it's five or seven inches and then finish with your border again. This is a beautiful, uh, this is one of the newer colors. Oh no, 211, it's a little bit older. But I love this, all the colors in this one. Because it's very rare do you find black, but it is really a, it's either jet black or it could almost be super dark eggplant purple. It leans both ways. Slight uh, purple tinge to it. How you get entered into the drawing for that is... Alright. How you get entered into the drawing is every time you react to the video, you're going to get one entry for every reaction. And... You are going to, uh, if you comment, you're going to get five entries for that. Oops. Peeps instead of peeps. Peps instead of peeps. <laughs> and so five entries for that. Every time you comment anything, which we love, the interaction. Good morning, Melanie. And then you can share now. You can share to your stories just by hitting this forward. You can share to Instagram. You do have to pop back in. And let us know how you shared. Thanks for all the love, everyone. I love all these fun little things. The stickers. Yeah, awesome. I don't know how to do that, but I don't either. I I think I did it once and then they went away. And I was like, I'm not doing that. All right, so based on yesterday's video, let's see who hold on a second. Let me see. Nope. One second. I know you did it, too. Oh, I forgot that you button. forgot one thing. <laughs> I was like, something's a mess. <laughs> okay, here we are. Who's going to be the lucky winner? Oh, oh Karen. Karen. 
My God! We know you are local, Karen, so I bet you're going to be here tomorrow. You can let us know you have a prize in the cabinet, and we will get it out for you. If you can't make it the next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink package. We have this little kitty cat one. I gave my sister one for Christmas. She has it on today. She does? Yeah. I love that. I love those. They're so fun. Ooh, and the maple leaf. That one's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. People are loving those pins. I love, um, I wear them just about every day. I like that it holds my garment to, my, or whatever I'm wearing, it holds to my sweater. That is very, very strong. I bet you can almost go through the lapel of a jacket and a shawl or a scarf. Oh, I think so. Because strong. I'm wearing a pretty thick, um, Blanket, blanket, sweater, sweater. I'm tired today. I don't know what happened. But... Oh, Melanie needs one more of the gifts. Ooh, awesome. there we go. Well, we still have them in stock. All right, so we are going to continue to showcase our uh, semi-annual clearance items today. You guys know there. This is something we do twice a year. We had a crazy busy day yesterday, but I am just in love with what is uh, what we found for today. And I'm going to start with what I am wearing. This is the Watercolor Socks by Lane Dunord. Uh, this is the one that Susan has knit this gorgeous pebble beach out of. You can see the coloring for the sock right there. I'm going to drop the link for you guys. Halfway through this one, let's see if I can find it. There it is. Uh, that little speck of white, there's actually about a yard or two of white in there, and that tells you where you can start your second sock if you're making socks, and then they match. Or you can just go crazy and do them the opposite. Very pretty, kind of pastel colors, pastel rainbow. Mm -hmm. Definitely really pretty, soft, uh, very wearable. And I also dropped some patterns for you guys. I don't know why I turned this already. I'm so efficient. But here is, I'm just going to show you two different colors. So this is color number 102. Uh, it is under $20 for a skein of sock yarn. There is, you can kind of see that little white spot right there. Is that where it is? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a white spot. So you can have identical socks, which is definitely a thing. Um, but as you can see, she did put beaded silk, beaded silk and sequins on it, but it's beautiful. Pastel rainbow is a perfect uh, color. And as we're headed our way into spring, it is wonderful to be able to do. Next in the lineup, I do keep these cones, you guys, because mm -hmm. you can use them for your knitting machine. Uh, this is color number 100. Here is a really pretty picture of it. A little bit about Lane Denor. This is 75% yule thing free and 25% nylon, which means it is great for socks. They say machine wash, lay flat to dry. That is because it is not super wash wool. Um, and it is sheet friendly. They also have something special on the label. I don't remember what that was. Do you? No. Okay. Made in Italy, and there is a lot of yardage 458 yards of yarn. What is this color, too? With uh, that 22 cowl with the purple divine mm. in the background? Mm hmm. That one's at home. All right. So I will let me show you guys just some of the things that I really liked. Uh, I love this one. A little bit of lace, but not so much that you can't see. Um, this is a fallen leaves lacy sock. It is a free pattern. I think I've made that one twice. Remember when we had one this lace? I made two pair in pink. I love, I haven't hand knit socks in a while, um, but boy, they are, they are fun when you're traveling because they're small. All right, the next one, this is a really popular one, Hermione's Everyday Socks. I do most socks on a one, um, and there are other options for this yarn besides socks that I wanted to showcase 
what originally it's made for. I like this little pattern in here. It's just a pearl every once in a while. It looks like Swiss, Swiss dots. You, it really showcases on that. But because the yarn is self-striping slowly, you're still going to see a lot of the pattern on it. That is the Hermione Everyday Socks. And then, oh, I thought this one was fun. Cute. For all the people who like the little shorties, it's interesting how they have different areas. This is... They do, wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? Yes, that's so funny. Did you guys see there's a googly eye on it? I'm sure that's just for the showcase. Picture. Yeah. But let's see what they say about it. This is short row, heel flap, toe up. Oh, graded to seven sizes. Wow. wow. Compassionate caregiver for the elderly. Attentively listens to, oh, wow. Not too tight around the cuff, but we're still easy to put on and take off. Comfortable fit without tightness. Um, wow, I love that. Designed to be gentle on swollen feet. Nice. I love that. Even for, I don't like tight socks on my feet. So cool. I love this. All right, let's show a few more colors. We have, oh, I love this one. This is color number 105, gorgeous scarlet. Uh, Mer there's Merlot, leads into a scarlet red. This is for, I don't see those ladies anymore, but the purple hat oh, ladies. Oh, yeah. Um, because it's red, and you can see this royal purple going into violet. Here is a really nice picture of it. It's tiny, but you can see it. We have this beauty. This is for all the purple people. Um, 106. It is all shades of purple. It starts out with a dusky purple on the edges. Definitely a gray hue to it, lending itself to more of a Concord grape. And then it goes into that beautiful eggplant. Very subtle. Nancy says, ooh, purple. Right? I'm with you on that one. Yeah, we have so many purple people. Um, let me go back to... So, the one of the pattern links that I did is basically our page using... Um, I just put in socks. But this yarn is not just for socks. We could do crochet and knitting. And we're going to kick out the word socks. And we have four, let's see, it's a fingering. We'll go down to here, 450. I'm going to scroll up. Sorry not to make you dizzy. And then I did hop right now. So fall and leaves definitely there. Oh, this would be gorgeous. Oh, yeah, the Alaska hat. The only thing that I would do different is the ribbing. It's a little big, so use a smaller needle. This is gorgeous. Ooh, wow. Using that, this is the embroidered knit stitch beanie. Using the, the, well, especially like this one. This would be perfect for Valentine's Day coming up on a lighter background. It would look like little hearts That's coming up. Stitch. Mm -hmm. It's like the, you're going to dip down below. It's like flyaway lotus. Or yeah. The other one I did. But so how did they, I don't know. Let me tell you. On a different row. Yes. You can see how textured it is. Yeah. And you could do the corrugated rib or not. It's kind of up to you. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. Again, sock head beanie is always, I'm always a fan of this. Ooh. I love Mini Mania. It is a linen, and you can just use, uh, they used a whole bunch of mini skeins. I think you could just use one color. That would be pretty. And it's just knits and slips. Very, very beautiful. One long needle. You can even fringe it on the edges. Every time you get to the end, leave about eight inches and then tie it. We have this. These are like oldies but goodies because we have knit. All those. Oh, I think this is pretty. 
secret garden sweater where you have this is where I like my background not to be variegated. I want the variegation to be what's the blue because you can see the section. It, it's pretty, but it almost detracts from it. Let's see. We can find some other people who've done things. This is, I think, that one. It's pretty. I just like, uh, I'm definitely different about stuff like that. Oh, okay. Here's one. Wow. Mm hmm Like a wrought iron fancy fence. It's beautiful. That would be a fun knit. Let's see. 124 people have made it. I'm trying to see if anyone did the variegated. Lots of people did that. Maybe that's what the pattern has. Interesting. If there's enough contrast, it would definitely work. But I, I'm still a fan of opposite. Yeah, I see what you say. The background is the ombre. Because mm -hmm. you can see it in so many of them. That one works because it's such a high contrast. But real Fair Isle, for it to look more like Fair Isle, you would do um, the pattern part. It makes it look like you've done all these different colors. It's very, very fun. It's a, it's a nice design. All right, and last but not least, and there could be more out there. I did not grab all the colors because this is color number 103. It is all things fall. You can see that um, really nice pumpkin orange that lends itself into more of a gold, a little bit of fire, and then we're going into the bronzy browns with a little bit of semi-sweet chocolate. And just this beautiful, I like the bronze color. It's hard to see. If I tip here, you'll see it peeking through. And there's almost, right here, I'm going to flip it over, a little bit of russet. Pretty. So a red-brown. That is the watercolor sock collection from Elaine du Nord. Okay, I want to know how come this one's fun and it has checkerboard. <laughs> I don't know. I noticed that. I love that. So if you guys end up buying this yard, we'll take your um, cones. I love like the cones. We use them for our machine knitting. Okay, hold on. I have a system now that I just dump them in here and then they can take them care of. Okay, Susan. Or whoever's working, depending on if I have a clock. Let me move on to the next one. Okay, we are moving on to a Summer yarn. Let me drop these. Did you have your glasses on? So no. Oh, can you read without yeah, them? Yes. Okay, good. It's so I'm gonna let you enough. just talk about the yarn as you I'm dropping them, links. Give them one to look at while I. All right. right. This. Let's we'll see. then have it down here. This is summer tweed, which is 80% cotton, 18% hemp. 2% polyester. Very nice summer yarn. Let me find the yardage. Where's the yardage? 100 yards per ball, so 50 grams. I would call that almost a mm, rose quartz, a smoky kind of. This one? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It's definitely uh, rose quartz a good name because it does have a slight tweed. And a lot of that is because of the different fibers that are in here being cotton, hemp, and polyester. The hemp will have more of a gray tinge, but if you look really closely at the plies, you can see the different fibers. So yeah, this is a very light rosy pink, and then there's the gray veining of quartz that you would get through this. This is color number 61, and there is 100 yards per skein. And I'll show you just a couple of the colors and then we are going to um, move and show you. I'm going to do this one next. Uh, this is color number 65. It is the lightest apricot. Very, very, uh, almost like peachy. I love, you can see this skews pink, this 
excuse more of a very light orange. And then one more in that color grouping. This is color number 60. This is, um, the base is undyed, but you do have that one with the tweed that I believe is part of the cotton. You can see the hemp is the gray in that section. Very nice to work with. It is in that worsted Aaron category. Which says funny to start thinking of summer knits. Right? Well, if we start it now, then the chances are we will get it done. And I have lots of ideas for you guys. I thought this one was really pretty. This is the summer tea, more of a checkerboard look to it. Very simple styling on this. Um, there might be a little bit of short rows, but it almost looks like all you're doing is casting on and then you're in the round separating, finish your front and your back and seam the top. This is the Llewellyn T. Oh my gosh, 16 stitches on a size nine. Yes, please. Somewhere between four. Wow, there's really not that much yardage on this one. Between four and nine, nice. going up to a 68-inch bust. Let me scroll down. They give more things. They don't. But it's really cute. It is a little cropped, so you would make it, if you wanted a little bit longer, no problem. Make it longer. Make your ribbing a little bit longer. But it's really pretty knitting. That's one I could do because there's no sleeves. That's right. Is that where you get stuck? <laughs> yeah. Sleeve Island? Yep. Oh my gosh, I do have, I'm still on my super bulky because I can't find that needle. Oh, hmm. It's a 17. So I need to look around for that where I misplaced it. I have that set. It has a 17. You can add a group. I know. Oh my gosh, I just want to be done and where I was. Okay, I thought this one was pretty. This is Cicada by Alicia Plummer. I can tell you my daughter and my daughter-in-law would wear something like this. This loose over the shoulders, these little croppy tops, or they don't have to be a crop top, but so cute under. Very, uh, I would call it hippie, but I love that vibe that it's given off. My girls are very much more natural. Hello, Anna. She just popped on. Nice. All right. But that is Cicada. Um, this is sized from a, let's see, sample size is a 38, oh, six inches of ease. Yeah, I could see that. You would wear it over a sundress, which I think would be really pretty. Somewhere between 600 and 1,050 of an Aran weight linen or linen blended yarn. Oh, cicada, cicada. Oh, my gosh. I lived in D.C. when it was one of the cicada things. Ooh. My kids loved it. It was creepy as all get out, but my kids would gather cicadas, take them to the roof of the apartment building we lived in that they weren't supposed to be on, but they found the secret entrance, and they would drop them off, and birds would eat them in midair. Oh, my goodness. Anything you can do to keep boys uh, that's, occupied. That's crazy. Okay, let me just show you a few of the cicadae. This one's cute. I like that she's got it pulled tight. You could wear one of our pins, our magnetic pins, to close it off. But look at this gorgeous little open. I would tend to pin it here. Yeah. Really, really pretty. We also have the Lou Ellen. Is that, is that the one? Oh, no, it's the same one. Oops, I was fascinated by it. I did it twice. Yeah, you like that one. It's cute, though. And you're not going to be bored because it's a little checkerboardy. Oh, and they used this color right here. This is color number 60. There we go. Very, very pretty. All right. We have more colors to showcase you. Ooh, I love this one. This is the next three, I would say, would be colors that my mom would have worn. Definitely more in that fall color tone I would say sandstone it is that really nice light coral orange uh, that you would see in like southwestern design and styling 
very, very pretty. This is color number 63. Next, we have this beautiful, I think we could do even a whole collection, something ombre we could with these pretty. three. This one is color number 65, then the sandstone color number 63. This one, uh, color number 64, is a light rust. Very, very pretty. So many words to describe it. Is it, oh, you know what, it could be clay. You could say it's a lighter clay. Yeah, that would work. Squash, somewhere in that. Very, very pretty. You would not want to do washcloths out of it because of the polyester. It's not going to be as absorbent as you would probably like. Okay, even these colors together. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, we're moving in to the most beautiful sage green color number 68. It skews blue. Uh, definitely has a bluer tone to the green, but so very pretty. Uh, Seven Sisters is another sweater that I think would be gorgeous. We have had lots of people knit this one. This is one of those projects that is not hard to do. Lots of easy knitting. Uh, we had, you know who Claudia Rain does probably fit her so well out of lots of people. She did a more fitted look, but you can do it oversized like this and it is just, oops, it's gorgeous. Uh, you can see that there is a, a positive ease because you have with her arm in, you have the little pleats on the sides. I'm going to say she probably has six to seven inches of ease on that. But pretty, nothing fancy, lots of easy knitting and knit to purl to. And it gives you, would you, oh, I don't know if we have a man class. We may not. We did it during COVID. That was maybe when our first or second knit along. Yeah, I thought this was fun. This is the Vegas top. So very simple design. Uh, it looks like it has I-cord. I would do, I don't mind I-cord here and here, but here I still would do ribbing. Yeah. It makes it look like it's rolled up on the bottom. This was knit out of summer tweed. Really beautiful. Uh, she said she knitted on a size six. And look at here's some pictures of it. Simple. This is simple, easy knitting. And I do like that it goes in a little bit more instead of straight up. It's more like a tank top fit. Just beginner sweater. It is. Yeah. And like I said, you can do a little bit of ribbing. And then the I cord's great for up here. I like the way that it doesn't add width to it. We have two beautiful shades of blue. This is color number 71, which is a beautiful stone blue. Very, very pretty. Um, you can see the flex center in it are more aligned, very natural, taupey, tan, really pretty. Let me get some of these things loose. Um, what was the other thing I was gonna show? I'll show the next one and then I'll show you a few more patterns and we are going to move on. This is color number 70 and it is the most gorgeous blue, but it leans purple. That's why I like it. Yeah, it definitely is in that indigo color, uh, but so beautiful. Even next to it, you can see that this tends to look a little bit more on the purple side. Uh, what are your top two colors? that you like this one you're tired today i am honestly this one i don't know why it's not Which my one? normal this oh one. no not, not it. my yeah. normal but it's very pretty i wanted to show a couple um shirts that i think are beautiful and a few of them have beautiful two colors so here is one that i really like this is spring fling a t definitely a different idea doing it out of cotton, but it would be really pretty. And the trick is high contrast. I think these two would be beautiful together. That is color number 70 and 71. I would do the light blue, obviously, at my face. I'd like a darker color around my waist. Um, 
I'm in love with this one. I would do all three colors, I think. In this one, have the lighter one here and the light to the medium and then dark to medium. That would work. Mm -hmm. Very, very pretty. And they're not flowers. Are they little candy wampus squares? Oh, well, they are flowers. They're, they're a take of a flower. They're squared flowers. They're very cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, love this one. This is Salty Air Tea. Perfect for this yarn for people who live where it's a little bit warmer. And um, I love the lace detail. It's a little bit of a higher neck. If that's not for you, just cast on a bigger size and then do an increase after um, you would skip one of the increases. I don't think it's too wide. I mean, too short, but you can see right here, you're doing increases in this section. So you can cast on a different number and then skip one of the increases, which is what I do. You will just add more um, stitches. Okay, two colors. I think this one's so cute. The Tombow T. You can see it's a set in, top down it set in. Wow. Let me see. It's not going to go big. All right, let's see if anyone's made it. 70, woo, 72 people. Wait, this is fingering. It's not even going to work. Scratch that. All right, I'm moving on. That was a dud, but it switched when it's on me. All right, next we have the Summer Tweed Degradé, which offers lots of beautiful colors in a continuous um, skein. Candy, ribbon candy would be gorgeous Ooh, would out be of pretty. these. This one is 80 cotton, 18 hemp, 2 polyester, so same as same. Um, color yeah. 101. In a beautiful range of colors. Well, let me put drop that link for you guys. Again, the clearance, the semi-annual clearance sale is while supplies last. We are packing up lots of orders. And I I thought there were some really pretty ones in this one. So here we go. This is Unwind. This is a Noro pattern, but so beautiful. I actually have this color, so let's show you this one. This is color number 103. She must have two skeins. That's what I was thinking. Or did she get... Because you could definitely pull, let's just say if you wanted two skeins, right? And then you added this at the bottom because that's where it's essentially yeah. ending. Let's see what she did because I think that's very beautiful. Oh, four skeins of degradé. This was in a really deep one. Oh, I love this. Two skeins for the front, two skeins for the back, larger blocks of color and a more gradual fade. So I tried interesting so she did um two skeins at the same time so like two row two row kind two row of thing. two row that is fantastic what a great way to do it so then you have more of an ombre look and that she's done multiple of them wow let's look oh yeah this is more of doing it uh, not changing right that's noro also I wanted to see her other one. Oh, here's there the other one. That's cute. That is out of Noro. It's a really good basic top. Mm-hmm. And just a little bit of detail, which I love that detail. At, and it's at the neck and at the shoulders. Really, really pretty. Gorgeous. All right, next. I thought this was so fun cute. little crochet. This is Frankie Bucket Hat. By Tony Lipsy. So cute. Especially for people who live where it's warmer. Bucket hats are very popular and fun to do. It's like amigurumi in a hat. Right. Because it's a tighter knit. Very cute. Two skeins is all you need. Hmm, child of mine. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> very fun. All right. Love this one. Oh, this wow. is the spiral staircase with eyelets. This is a free pattern. 
just bump up the needle size. It's interesting because that person did use that yarn. Bump up the needle size to like an eight. Get two skeins, you'll be good to go. I love this one. It looks cute. This is sleeveless for those that don't mind show, showing their arms. Really, this detail of it going in is nicely. I love. Let me pop this up. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's the shoulder. That's gorgeous. I know lots of people who think they can't show their arms anymore. We need to normalize that women's arms aren't tight their entire life, and it's okay. I, you guys, I have definitely have flappy arms. I don't care. Ooh, I love this one. This is the Osti Spamonti T. Cute name. Well, look at the detail, the texture. Mm -hmm. So they're using essentially would be two colors at the same time. One color is the background, and then all the zigzags are another one. Very, very pretty. Let's see what else. Um, we already looked at that one. I wonder if it's here. I may have kicked it loose. Oh, no, here it is. Summer Tweed. Oh, this is pretty. Nice. Very simple. And you can see at the top, they use, you can use, I really like that gal's idea of using two balls. Mm -hmm. And so you're not going to get any of this pooling. It's just going to work perfect, just like it is. Uh, let me see. This is t-shirt. Oh, I love when people see something different. Very fun. Yeah. Is that the same one you were on? Yes. Okay. This is the actual pattern. Nice. That people can see, like, oh, I can do this instead. She used a size 7 needle. Um, all right. We have two more colors to showcase. This is a beautiful 104 that is all things uh, jungle-ish. And then 101. I love this one because, boy, the colors are more of a muted you have a pistachio green that lends itself into a very light spring green here moving its way onto sea foam then we have a little bit of sage that gorgeous copper brown then there's it spins around into army green because you can see like just that olivey tone and then the most beautiful pine green in the center. I like the tweed that happens on this one inadvertently. Ooh, so pretty, right? My favorite's the next one. Really? Yeah. I love this one. Because of the purple? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like things that go purple to orange, and that's close enough that apricot is close enough. So pretty. Let's see. I wanted to find a few more crochet items. I did and I forgot all right so this yarn is great for knitting or crocheting it is machine wash lay flat to dry I love that you can machine wash cotton on a six or seven needle you're gonna get about a 19 so easily you could get up to a smaller um, sizes or even doing really fun tops out of this hold on let me just open up a couple. Oops. Oh my gosh, it kicked itself loose. Let me get here. Hold on. Oh, here's one, a crocheted one. This is summertime tea. Nothing's crazy about that. Looks like V stitches into the space, which, oh my gosh. Makes it easy. Yeah. Maybe not even. It's interesting. It does kind of look like a V, but not really. There's like an extra line there. I need it even closer mm -hmm. with my eyeballs. Uh, here's another one. The Electric Sun Tea. Love this one. Wow. Yeah. You could do a solid. Ooh, you know what? The solids, the three solids mm -hmm. would be fantastic out of this. 
so good. I like that they make it longer and tuck it into their pants. It's oversized. You could wear a cute little cami underneath it, but boy, that's beautiful. And I, look at that, 26 people have made it. Sized all the way up to a 4X. Let's see what this gal did. Oh, oh, interesting. Look at how she did it so it was less see-through there. Wow. Nice. Really cute. Let me see what she, oh, no project notes, of course. But I love all these people. Lots of people doing it in one color. Pretty, pretty. So she just did more spacing in between, which I like that. Um, Here's a few more. I thought this one was pretty. Where did that go? The transition T. An extra small to a 5X. It almost looks knitted. Almost. Yep. Pretty. You can definitely see that it's crocheted, but it's side to side, which I really like that. All right. And last but not least, we are not talking about yarn. We are talking about our gorgeous 100% cashmere wraps. I have every single one of these colors at home. Perfect for spring. It is a very large. I got these um, at the trade show. 100% cashmere pashmina. It is for sure cashmere uh, because I saw the authentic. Authen how do you say that? Authenticity? Uh, no. <clears throat> uh -uh. I, I don't know. A piece of paper that had like what it was made out of. I don't know. What's the word, people? Provenance. Um, isn't that for artwork? <laughs> yeah, I think so. But that's basically it. So you can see it. You guys see how I wear it with the loop in the front. You, when you're wearing a coat, you can go and do more of the pretzel look. Which I like that. You can put your thing on. I travel with these. They're crazy soft. They go whatever you need it to be. You need it to be a blanket, a shoulder wrap. You could tight it, do it really tight around your neck. And then you pull it up and then put your jacket around it. Uh, but we have really bright colors. These are in the clearance section. And we did actually, we're clearancing them early, but I wanted you guys to get a chance to get them before uh, spring comes. There is magenta. We have this gorgeous, uh, let's see what we called it, yellow. It's a nice sunshine yellow. It is sunshine yellow. We have light pink which is definitely carnation pink we have lime green and we have this gorgeous aqua and a couple purples left i have one of the purple ones these things are very very awesome so lightweight but just a really nice gift for you or for someone you love they are um they say dry clean. I just put them in the hand wash them just like you would anything else. Um, and those are on sale. Let's talk about the classes that we are doing. Where did the speaker go? I don't think we brought it out. Oh, look, it's over here. There we go. I was like, how did that? I knew I brought it out. So hopefully you guys heard me this whole time. I'm sure you did. I don't know how it even, who knows? Know. It got moved yeah. over here. So let's talk about what we have coming up during the uh, month of January. We're starting out with the pooling drops via Zoom. That is on Tuesday, January 2nd and 9th. There is no pre-work. I'm going to teach you everything you need for this beautiful um, it's, we did use an assigned pooling yarn. You do not. It would be gorgeous out of any of the DK weight. Even a Nora would be really beautiful in this gorgeous. one. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Next on Saturday, January 6th, we have the Rise Above Scarf that is using uh, one skein of Merino Cloud, or you can do a smaller version with beaded silk and sequins. On January, Saturday, January 13th and 27th from 11 to noon, we have this Picos and Eyelet shawl made out of two skeins of Earth 16. 
It is a fingering weight with a high micron count, very, very soft, like cashmere soft. Uh, you do have to do your cast on and work the first stockinette section. In session one, we're gonna teach you to work the mesh lace. And in session two, we will teach you how to work the Pico border. So you do have a couple of weeks in between your classes to keep you going. On Tuesday, January 16th, we are gonna be teaching this class. There is a little bit of pre-work. We are just gonna be showcasing the lace section because it is garter stitch mixed with lace. And we did use one of these kits of fingering weight from Wonderland Yarns. This is the holiday collection under the mistletoe. On the third Saturday, I don't know what day that is, we will be offering the fourth session of the Persian Tiles Blanket Crochet Along. It is not too late to join us. What you will get is our um, on-demand classes that will teach you the basics of the first three and then you will be in time to do kind of the crossover we're we're getting into like the fun section we're doing the stars so i'm working on that right now all right i'm going to show you what susan is wearing and we will be good to go uh all packages are ready to ship which we are excited to see those and we even have linen clothing is on sale. We have dresses, we have tops, jackets, tank tops, and shorts. All right, this one is Fig Hill, which is a worsted weight. We use some mini skeins and some full skeins. You could use two skeins of Rios and maybe some leftovers. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. Jody, <laughs> Jody, we would love to show you how to crochet. This was knit on the machine. It was. But we have had people hand knit it. Little seam right there. Mm hmm Very pretty. Give us a twirl because it's really pretty on. Yep. Warm and keeps your hands free, whether you're in the office or here at the store. Yep. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching. We will pull your orders and get them ready to go. Otherwise, the boutique is open 11 to 5 today. And I do teach at, uh, I'm sorry, 12 o'clock I teach. And then also we have Knit, Sip, and Hook at 3 o'clock with Boss Lady. If you want to join me via Zoom, we would love to see you. So thank you so much and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.